So this video, I wanted to talk about um, site structure. So what do we mean by site structure? So we're talking about um, kind of the way that the pages of a website would link together, uh, maybe a bit of structure of a page. So at the moment, just to recap, we've only got our main page um, in this website, and that is using our new layout that we created. Um, so we're going to go and forward and, and build out a few more pages and expand on this layout a bit and give ourselves some navigation so that we can move between pages um, and that kind of thing. So um, the first thing that uh, we need to do um, is a little bit of um, CSS. So at the moment we've only got um, some placeholder CSS um, that's not really doing anything. So um, I'm just going to copy in and then I'll talk through um, what all this CSS is doing. So this is just some, some relatively boilerplate CSS um, that's common to the whole site. Um, so all the pages can, can use this CSS. So at the top, we've just got some colors and some fonts, um, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, then after that, we've got our normal box sizing that we do. If you if you look at any um, CSS tutorials, um, you'll see that they most of them adopt this this kind of thing. Uh, standard thing with images, standard thing with HTML, um, some font weights and sizes um, put on the body so that we get um, some nice styling on the on the main part of the page. Um, resetting the margins on some of the more common elements of the page. Uh, again, font sizes, weights, colors, that kind of thing. And then a main container, and we'll come to <clears throat> where the main container um, lives on the, on the site um, in a while. Uh, but we're just setting some margins on there again. So nothing, nothing really too onerous inside this main.css. Um, so with that in place, we can go and look at our um, main layout file. And at the moment in here, we're just injecting where, where whatever is on the page um, goes into this Nuxt um, tag here. So that's where this main page is coming from here. So we just want to flesh out um, this template a little bit. So I'll just copy in again some boilerplate stuff into here. And incidentally, while we're doing that, I'm just going to go and tidy up um, some stuff to do with Prettier as well. So inside um, the Prettier RRC, I want to set the tab width to two so that I get two tabs uh, or two spaces every time there's a there's an indent in the file basically and I also need to go and put some settings into the VS code uh, actually I need a, a settings file in here so let's just go and create a settings JSON and in here um, is just some default stuff for the Vita plugin so that it knows which that we want to use Prettier basically. And also that we want VS Code to uh, run Prettier basically when we save a file. So with that in place and that in place, if I now save that, Prettier then runs when I save the file and formats it nicely so that it saves us a bit of a bit of effort. So we can close those off. So this is where this main container um, CSS class is being used. So basically we've added um, a div that contains the bulk of the of the page. We've added in two components, a header and a footer, which we'll get to in a while. Um, and then we've added in a main section, which is this main container that we that we had in our main CSS. And that's where we inject the content of the page. And I've got the site running over here and over here. So um, we can see kind of 
hopefully what what effect some of this has um, as we save it so at the moment we can see uh, it's just changed some of the font styling um, at the moment uh, we've got nothing in we haven't got a header or a footer component so it's not going to find either of those um, so that's that one um, also while we're here in the layout um, just want to add some styling as well um, so and we want our styles to all be scoped so they're only local to this particular component so again if we save that all prettier will kick in and style that up nicely for us so here we're just styling this main layout section here and saying that we want that to be um, occupy the whole height of the of the viewport area so we can close out the template we can close out our main.css and you can go and have a look at creating some of these new uh, components so we'll start with um, the easier one of the two um, and it's in components there we'll create a new file called the and again we can use Vita to give us our template and we want the style to be scoped we want some basic footer elements in here for now and a little bit of styling again so there's nothing really too too overly complicated we do a bit of styling on the footer element itself let's just stop and restart and that's fixed the problem so we've now got our main page and we've got a footer down here if we if we space another div into the middle but that should then hopefully space it evenly into the middle so because now we've got three flex items so that looks good for the footer for now um, we'll probably come back to the footer so let's go and have a look and create um, our header component as well so the header and again we'll scope the styles so uh, what do we need in here so we want a navigation so inside this main container area or menu container area sorry um, we'll have a navigation section so hopefully once this refreshes you can see that we've now got some some links to other pages um, and the way that links work in nuxt.js is um, you have to use the Nuxt link element. Um, it's a special thing to Nuxt, um, but it's so that this adds it into all the routing mechanism um, inside Nuxt, so that um, it, essentially these just render out as, as anchor tags on the page. So if I was to go and look at the look at the page in the Dev Tools, um, we'll see. Yeah, the nav items are just anchor tags okay so it's, it's it's not doing anything special other than um, enabling nux to know what what we're actually trying to do in terms of navigation um, and as you can see we're linking off to um, the main page for home so if i was to click on that it doesn't actually do anything but that is actually navigating back to the page we're currently on it's not going to find my team or contact us because um, we we haven't actually um, created those yet so let's just go and add a bit of styling in as well while we're while we're in this page so we want some styling on the header itself um, to pretty that up a bit and we want some styling on the nav and the nav items and there we go so now that we've styled our 
our actual nav element itself we also get highlighting and hovering and all sorts and we get a, a highlighted one on the actual one that's selected um, one thing I, I didn't point out is what Nuxt does with the um, the actual selected item so uh, it adds a, an attribute of Nuxt link active to it so back over in our styling um, we have Nuxt link active and then we can style the one that's active at that particular point in time of which there will only be one so this is the the point of the navigation is it's showing you which page you're on inside your site um, so that gives us our navigation so now we need to go and create um, quickly the other two pages so let's go to our um, pages section and let's create um, team page And what do we need to do in here? So this I'm just going to copy. Lock, stock and barrel. So it's the same as our main page, basically. What we did in the previous video, if you haven't seen that, um, was to just put in, uh, link the, the layout to the page and put in the, the head section so that you get the title at the top of the page. Um, so that's doing that and while we're here we're going to add the um, contact to us as well again I'm just going to copy that because that follows exactly the same pattern for now So we should now have three pages. So to quickly refresh that, if I go to the team, I get the team as the title up here, which is coming from the head part of the, of the code. And the title on the page is coming from this H1 up here. So contact us, goes to contact us and contact us. And then I can go back home to the main page. So that shows our navigation is all, is all up and running, which is good. So we can now um, have as many pages on our website with each one styled um, within the default layout so again because each one is using the same layout we're still keeping our footer down here and our navigation up here so we only have to have that coded in one place as well so um, it's a nice it's a nice way to work and a very quick way to add new pages to a website should you need to the next thing that I also wanted to cover off um, is around um common elements that you might want so um, some static um, kind of site properties so for instance if you wanted uh, the company name um, up up here or you know you needed that at multiple pages across your site how would you handle um, common site settings that are site wide um, and we've not really spoken about um, this particular um, aspect of, of Nuxt till now um, but it's to do with the Vuex store so right at the outset we selected that we wanted Vuex which is part of the Vue ecosystem um, and it's a it's a common store basically that you can access from anywhere inside your Vue.js application so we can use that um, to actually create some common site properties so the way that um, UX works is we can create um, just a JSON file and inside that JSON file we can put some code that looks like this so we create uh, the name of the UX store in this case that we actually want to create and we create that as an object and that object is called site properties and the site properties has two properties within it site name which is the name of our website and telephone um, but obviously you can go and add as many common site properties as you as you need so it might be email address that you want um, 
and that kind of thing. Uh, so anything that you, any properties that you might need to use in multiple places throughout your website so that this gives you one place where you can come and edit that information and have it reflected across your entire site without you worrying about um, editing it in multiple places. So with that, that view X store in place, how do we then um, actually go and use that data? So let's go to our header component again, and I'm just going to paste in a little bit more code so that you don't have to see my awful typing skills. So I'm pasting in there um, a top line div. Um, and as you can see, now that that's refreshed, um, it's a it's a basically another Nuxt link like we've done in our navigation so that when someone clicks on the, the logo, effectively, they go to the main page um, of our website. And the content that we want shown inside that logo is now we're getting into some, some Vue.js code. It's a content, so we have to use the, the double angle brackets or handlebars, as they're called. Um, and the way we access it is through this dollar store so dollar store is a is a um, is a way to get at the Vuex store itself. So that's telling it basically to to go to this folder for the data, and then everything else. So state, if you remember, is what we called our our object inside the Vuex store, and then site properties, site name. So site properties, site name. Hence we get my fancy website um, in this particular piece of content here, which is then rendered on the page. And so we do the same for the telephone as well. So we have some contact information, telephone, and again, um, here, slightly different um, approach because we're creating an anchor tag ourselves rather than just injecting the content. So, um, but again, it's, it's the same kind of idea where we can just use dollar store and then the rest of it to get at the actual property itself and then our dollar handlebars. So the, the reason that's in the anchor tag as well is because it's a telephone. So when we actually hover over it, it actually shows you the telephone number down here. So that's if this is on a mobile site, that would then, if they, they clicked on that, it would prompt them into their um, telephone to go and phone that number. Um, so that's how we can do that. So again, we need a little bit of styling on some of this just to make this look a little bit prettier. So I'm just going to um, drop in some styling here. Hopefully that should tidy that up a little bit, make that a little bit prettier. If we want to use the same properties in multiple places, we can go across to the footer again to save my typing. So if we replace that third div with um, essentially the same same idea that we had in the, the header itself. Just going to put in a little bit of styling for that at the bottom as well. So now we should see pop up down here the same telephone number. And so if I came over to here and did and save that, it will change in both places. Okay, so that's the that's the benefit of the Vuex store. Uh, and that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. So that's some basic site structure. We can now navigate across across pages. So in future videos we will flesh out the rest of some of these pages um, to show off some of some more of the features of, of Nux.js. Um, if you're enjoying these videos, please feel free to, to like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.